All right, guys, so let's take a look at this program. This program is looking for the same output in that we're having the green light on, then the yellow light's going to be on, but it's going to be flashing, and then the red light turns on, and then the whole sequence starts again. So the, the previous one was with the Ton timer. With the pulse timer, it gets a little bit trickier in that we're going to use pulses into it. Though not really pulses, but we're looking at um, like the negative edge and the positive edge of the signal. So if you want more information on any of these guys, you can always click on these on the instruction and then hit F1. And then the information system will come up. It's just coming up on my other screen here. Beautiful. Okay, so if we're looking for either the positive edge or the negative edge, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so uh, the positive edge, so the symbol that we saw um, right here with the P, right, that's looking at where it goes from a zero to a one. So that transfer from zero to one is the positive signal edge. Then when the signal goes from a one down to a zero, that's your negative signal edge. Okay, so we're either gonna use either the rising edge or the falling edge. Rising edge being the positive or the falling edge being the negative there. Okay, so we're gonna make use of those guys in our program here. So let's take a look at this one here. We've got the standard three wire. Now I moved the stop over here because a lot of programs that I've seen um, have the stop over here. Like normally if we did, were doing standard wiring, it would be the stop and then the start um, because it's the, you know, the transfer of electrical current through the circuit, but here it's just logic. And I found that a lot of diagrams and a lot of programmers like to have the stop right here. Now, a lot of programmers will also get mad at me because uh, they use uh, this instruction rather than this one. Um, but again, that's, an, that's for another video. Um, so standard three wire, stop, start, output being a, a memory bit. We're still using start bit M1.0 and we're using a holding contact here so that when this is true, this is true and we're good to go. Okay, so that first one, when the start bit goes from a zero to a one, then this will be true. So that will send a signal into the timer and this is a pulse timer, right? So remember it just needs, this is just gonna happen for like a millisecond, right? We're just gonna have that positive edge once when I press the push button that's gonna send the signal into here. But remember that the pulse timer just needs a pulse, right? It just needs a positive edge going into this guy. Okay, so, or just needs, not really a positive edge, just needs an RLO of one, right? So this positive edge will give an RLO of one and that will be in, going into our input here and that will set the pulse timer, right? The pulse timer then times out for the prescribed time, right? Or the preset time. So I've just got 12 seconds a week, like we saw before. And then when the elapsed time and the preset time equal each other, the queue will set. And instead of having the queue down here with another contact, I just have this one on the in series with the queue output there. So the green light is gonna turn on when this timer queue sets, okay? When that timer queue sets, then um, the negative edge of that guy is then going to set timer number two, okay? So once that guy has the negative edge on the queue, okay, because remember this pulse timer is going to, uh, going to go high for 12 seconds, right? So the queue is gonna set for 12 seconds and then the queue will go low. So when the queue goes low, then this will set, right? So we're just looking for the negative edge. When this goes from a one to a zero, then this will be true, which will then start our second timer, right? We just need that to be true once. The RLO for that will, will, be, will be a one. That will go into our input and it'll set our second timer. This one's a pulse timer as well. This is gonna be on for six seconds. So the yellow light will be on for six seconds as this times out. And we've got our memory bit here that we saw in the previous video, percent %m10.5, uh, which is set for the one hertz. Okay, so this will then flash at one hertz for six seconds. Okay, and then once this one goes negative, so once this Q goes from a one to a zero, then this will be true. The RLO will be a one into the input, and then the third time will, will be turned on. Again, this only has to happen for an instant. That will pulse the timer on. The timer then times out for 12 seconds. So the red light will be on for 12 seconds. Okay, then we need the whole sequence to start up again. So 
up here, this has already happened. So we can't have that happen again, right? So it's going to come up here and we're looking for the negative edge because this Q, once the 12 seconds has, has elapsed, then the Q will go to a zero and that transfer from a one to a zero will be the negative edge. And that negative edge will create this to be true, which will turn on our first timer again and the whole sequence will start again. Okay, so uh, let's bring up our PLC SIM. Okay, and up here on our three wire, we'll set the start, the, the stop, right? So that will be true. And now all we have to do is just press the start push button. I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit. Okay, so PLC SIM, let's press the start push button. And again, we just have to pulse the start push button and then everything should follow through. Okay, so doing that now, green light turns on, stays on for 12 seconds. Ten, eleven, twelve. 12, boom, turns on the next one. You can see that that just came in briefly, right? This stays on for six seconds, beautiful. Little pulse came in here, and then our third timer's on, the red light is on for 12 seconds, and then we'll see at 12 seconds that uh, this goes true, beautiful. And then the pulse timer for the first one comes in. Nice. Now you will see that um, that you saw that this was like true. So this is true right now, right? Then it goes false. It's when it goes to the negative edge and you see that this goes um, is no longer green, that's when it's sending the signal in here, right? So this right here, once it goes and is no longer illuminated, then it'll be, it'll be showing the negative edge has been true, and now the next timer comes in there. Beautiful. So it's cool, in the, and it's a challenge to try and create the same thing, but with a different instruction. So hopefully this has helped as well, guys. I find, uh, like, so as I find cool, cool examples, then I'll just keep adding them to the additional examples there. So each section, like the timers, the counters, the move functions, all of them will have the base information within one uh, portion. So if we go to the to the course here, right? Uh, so our timers here will have the on delay, you know, on and off with the physical PLC and then each instruction using PLC SIM. And then in this file folder here, uh, I'll have additional timer exercises. So I'm just finishing this video up here. So that video will be dropped in here. So you'll have the video walking through a new exercise. And then right below that, you'll have uh, a PDF of the actual uh, program that we just did, right? So let me just bring up um, that diagram. So give me two seconds to find it here. Yeah, okay, so uh, if you open up that, uh, that PDF, then the program that we just worked on will be available to view within your browser. And you can make it you know, as large as it works for you so you can see it on your screen, right? And then you can work with this in order to create the, uh, the program that, we, that you saw in the video. All right, guys, we'll stop her there. We'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one.